So most people know Feynman's trick of differentiation under the integral sign. And if you read up on how he sort of first discovered this trick, it actually comes from a book, namely Advanced Calculus by Frederick S. Woods. However, if you go to this textbook and you you actually would read it, by in in a section next to this trick, differentiation under the integral sign, there's also a, a very similar trick, which is integration under the integral sign, which basically you have some integral and you recognize, and especially for definite integrals, and you recognize the, f the, the form of your integrand is some definite integral that's been evaluated. And so you can rewrite that integral, or you can rewrite the integrand as an integral, and then swap the integral signs. And so we're going to be using that trick today to evaluate the following integral. And that is the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the b minus x to the a divided by the natural log of x. And I don't know how obvious this is, but we notice that sort of when we have x to some power and x to another power subtracted, that sort of looks like an integration right there. We have two constants, and a and b are constants. And, you know, that reminds me of sort of if you have if you're integrating sort of little f from a to b, it would be capital F of a minus capital F of b. So this already looks like some form of definite integral evaluated. And when we divide by the natural log after an integration, that sort of reminds me of exponentiation, or like exponential um, integrals. Namely, when we integrate e to the x, we just get e to the x because we're dividing by the natural log of e, which is just 1. But there's a more general rule, and that is that the definite integral of a to the x dA is a to the x divided by the natural log of a. And so now we sort of get a sense for what this integrand, what our integrand looks like, in terms of some definite integral, and that is the integral from a to b of x to the u du. And so, like I said, we have this other integral out here from 0 to 1 dx. And so what we can do is swap the integral signs. After doing that, we get the integral from 0 to 1 x to the u dx, and then the integral from a to b of that du. And so now we just have a definite integral in terms of a polynomial, because uh, x is our base and x is our integrating variable. And this is simple to evaluate, and we just get 1 divided by u plus 1. And now we have the integral from a to b of 1 over u plus 1 du. And this is just a simple... Um, a derivative of a logarithm function. Specifically, this is the derivative of the natural log of u plus 1. And so once we evaluate, our final answer is the natural log of b plus 1 divided by a plus 1. And now I, I want to take the time here to say that this is also possible using uh, differentiation under the integral sign, although it's a little more involved. Um, specifically, you have to factor out an x to the a, and then make a variable for b minus a, which, I don't know, it's a little more complicated, and this, I think, is the more natural solution, because we realize that what we're integrating is some definite integral, and that allows us to um, sort of switch the, switch the signs and integrate something that's easier, and get something that's even easier to integrate as a result. So thank you for watching, and thank you to Papa Flemmy for putting this video on his channel. Thank you, and if you liked uh, this presentation, please subscribe to me at Essentials of Math. Thank you!